As school districts get ready to welcome students back to the classroom, the focus is not only on building safety, but school bus safety also. The state police do inspect all of the transportation fleets throughout Oakland County and really throughout the state of Michigan every year. And the state police go top to bottom to inspect every part of the operation of the school bus. School buses in Oakland County have many state of the art safety features, including high padded seat backs to create protective compartments and the event of a crash. Evacuation training is also required by the state. We have to do three evacuations per year with the driver and with the students. The evacuation training is crucial for incidents like this one, when a student from Warren steered a school bus to safety after the driver had a medical condition. That driver prepared those students to be able to handle an emergency like that. As districts work to make sure school buses are safe, could a nationwide shortage of school bus drivers work to keep some of these buses parked. I would classify that all districts have a critical need right now uh, based on the state and also the national numbers right now. So within Oakland County, I think that need is still critical. A large sign adorns this school bus advertising a need for school bus drivers, but it's a need that won't impact classes. No, not to like the start of class. I think most districts have come up with ways to be able to accommodate. Districts like Ypsilanti Community Schools, where officials have designed a model to overcome a critical school bus driver shortage. Providing the three-tier system provides for longer runs and for us to need less drivers inside of our school day. But despite the nationwide bus driver shortage, one area school district says it's grateful that they've been able to avoid it and they hope their good fortune continues. And in Clarkston, we have a tremendous respect for our drivers and we've been very fortunate to be able to fill our uh, all of our roles for bus drivers. And we've had to take some uh, extraordinary means in terms of jobs fairs and uh, really trying to reach out and recruit. And uh, we're tremendously lucky to say that we're ready to start the school year maybe as an exception with a full boat for our, our drivers. And West Bloomfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.